Factsverse presents… Experts have figured out why some special people can see millions more colors. Being able to see color is, of course, amazing. It's something we all take for granted, too. We wake up in the morning and we see the color of our curtains, the beautiful blue sky, many colorful things all day long. People who are colorblind, they can still see colors, they just don't see them the same way that most other people do. And there are some people who see more colors than most people. A tiny number of people can see 99 million more shades than anyone else. The people with this significant boost in vision, they can see more colors than you could ever imagine. Doctors tested people with this ability using three extra colors that appear inside a special light device. Those who saw those colors usually didn't see any difference between the three shades that they were shown. The people with this bionic color vision, if you want to call it that, they could clearly differentiate between the three shades. The people with this excellent color perception, they can see different hues outside of the lab when they're out in the real world. When light hits the water, these people can often see a pinkish glow that's not visible to others. When you look at pebbles, you'll probably see them as gray. When a person with this supersonic color perception looks at the same pebbles, they'll see specks of blue, yellow, green, and orange. People who have this supersonic color perception should consider themselves lucky. The world is an even more beautiful and colorful place for them. Experts wanted to know why people are able to see almost 100 million more colors than others. The question of how it happens was asked back in 1948, but the necessary studies weren't performed then. The right questions weren't asked. Recently, experts have taken another look at the initial research because they want answers, and surprisingly, the answer to the question is relatively simple. It might sound strange to most people, but objects don't really have an inherent color. They actually absorb certain shades of light and reflect other shades of light. What bounces back to you is what you see. That's the color you see. The object isn't that color, it's just the shade of light it reflects back to you. That's what you see. So the light hits your retina and it sits in the back of your eye. That's how we determine the color of different things. To make this a little easier to understand, experts have offered up a couple of examples. We look at ripe bananas and we see them as yellow, right? Well, they absorb all the light with wavelengths between 570 and 580 nanometers. When the light bounces back, the wavelengths create the yellow color. An apple will absorb all wavelengths except the ones that we see as red. When you see something white, like a piece of paper or a car, something is reflecting back all of the light's wavelengths. When you see something black, it has absorbed all the different hues and is reflecting nothing back to you. Everything else we see is varying amounts of green, blue, and red light. These three shades create a very visible color on the spectrum. The part of the eye responsible for processing these wavelength combinations is the retina. It's made up of millions of rod and cone-shaped cells, and it's considered to be an extension of your brain. The rod and cone receptors transform light into nerve impulses. The information is sent to the optic nerve and then to the brain's cortex. It's the rod and cone's placement that helps us see color the way we do. It's believed that people who can see millions more colors than most have inherited the condition from one of their parents. A woman named Conchetta Atiso realized early on that she could see many more colors than most. Her mother realized this when she was very young and would often tell her that she'd be an artist or an art instructor one day. And her mother was right. When she got older, she enjoyed mixing many different colors of paint to create vibrant colors. When Conchetta would talk about colors shimmering on water or across the rocks, her students would agree, but most didn't see what she was seeing. Experts have figured out why some people can see millions more colors. It was determined that the genetic defect is a fourth type of cone cell that most people don't have. Experts tested 25 women who had the fourth cone cell type, and they proved that one extra cone was at work in the subjects who saw millions more colors than most. Anybody who has this extra cone cell, you need to consider yourself lucky. Being able to see color in this way? That could make even the most bleak place on Earth look absolutely gorgeous. This condition affects a very tiny fraction of the population. Those who can see these colors see the world in a way that we can only dream of. What special ability do you have that most others don't? Tell us in the comments and subscribe for more.